Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. 3 to the power of x times 5 to the power of x squared equals 15. Okay, this is all we have to solve. And um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe before I proceed from here. I'm waiting for you. Okay, thank you for subscribing. And if you have not, please subscribe. Now, to continue from here, this is simple. We have 15. 15 can be written in this form. So, we're going to have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of x squared and is equal to 3 times 5. Now, if this is the case, I can now compare what I had before. So the first step I want to take is to divide both sides by 5. So I'm going to divide this by 5. So if I do that, that means I'm going to have 3 to the power of x times 5 x squared over 5 equals 3. Now, the next thing I want to do is to divide both sides. Remember, if I divide this, 5 will cancel itself. And then 5 times 3 is 3. So the next thing I want to do is to divide by 3. Divide both sides by 3 again. And this time around, I have 3 to the power of x over 3 times 5 to the power of x squared over 5 equals 3 over 3. And that is 1. Okay, so from here, I will apply one of the laws of indices that says if you if you are dividing and they have the same base, what you do is to pick one of the bases and subtract the power. So this means that from here, I'm expected to have um to pick three. Then I have x minus one because this three here has some um, invisible power of one. Then this is multiplying the same base again so we pick 5 then the power here is x squared then minus the power to this is 1 now everything here is equal to 1 okay so now from here we are going to continue before I continue I hope you know that this can be expressed as 1 squared so I have 3 to the power of x minus 1 times 5 to the power of x squared minus 1 squared. And this is equal to 1. Okay. And um, from here. Okay. So from here, let's take this to the other side. So that means I would divide this by 3 to the power of x minus 1. Then here I have 3 to the power of x minus 1. Okay, so if that is the case, then this can go with this. And now we have 5 to the power of x squared minus 1 squared. And that is equal to, from here, to remove this, it means that we are going to have 3 to the power of negative 1. You know, 3 to the power of negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over 3. Then this power here, x minus 1, will still appear. x, okay, 5 to the power of x squared minus 1 squared will now be equal to, okay, so we have 3 to the power of negative x plus 1. Because this negative is multiplying everything. And then we have 5 to the power of x squared minus 1 squared equals 3 to the power of... Now, because this is positive, I can write that first and write minus x after. Now, what do I do from here? The next step from here is um, to take the log of both sides. And um, to do that, 
we will now have from um, log 5 to the power of x squared minus 1 squared. It is advisable you have the power in bracket equals log 3 to the power of 1 minus x, the power in bracket. Now what happens is that the power will go behind, so we now have x squared minus 1 squared. Then here we have log of 5. We have 1 minus x. Then we have log of um, log of 3. Okay, this is log of 3. Now here we can apply difference of two squares. So we now have x plus 1 into x minus 1. We now have log 5 equals um, 1 minus x. Okay, 1 minus x. Then we have um, log 3. Okay, so the next thing to be done is um, to bring this to the left. And if I try to do that, it means that I will have x plus 1 into x minus 1 log 5 equals, okay, we are bringing this to the left, so it becomes negative, open bracket, 1 minus x, then we have log 3, everything is equal to 0. Now, we have x plus 1 into x minus 1, we have log 5. This can open the bracket, so we have negative. Um, we have um, negative one, then plus x. Then we have log three equals um equals um zero, right? Then in other words, we can write x plus one into x minus one log 5 you know i can decide to write this first so we write plus x minus 1 then we have log 3 equals 0. now we have something common to both of them and that is some um, x minus 1 so x minus 1 is now a common factor and then here we'll have from um, we're going to have x plus 1 then this right here we have log 5 then plus if the whole of this is out then we have log 3 right here and everything equals 0 now x minus 1 is still a common factor and um we are multiplying this two to get zero so we can say that this right here is equal to zero or the whole of this x plus one in brackets log five then plus log three is equal to zero so that's from here now x is equal to zero plus one and then our x is equal to one this is one of the solutions now the other solutions will be obtained from here so let's copy it again x plus 1 in bracket we have log 5 then plus log 3 equals 0 okay so the next thing i want to do is um to take this to the other side so we have x plus 1 log 5 equals negative log 3 okay so this is what we have and then what if i divide both sides again by log 5 then divide this by log of 5 this is going to go with this now x plus 1 is equal to negative log 3 over log 5 but then we are looking for the value of we are looking for the value of x. 
so i can take this to the other side and then x will be equal to this right here becomes negative one on the other side then we have minus log three divided by log of five okay so negative one is common to both of them okay negative one is common to both of them and um, we can pick it out so if that comes out we have x to be equal to negative one we open bracket here we're going to have one then we have plus log three over log five log three over log five now i can apply change of base to this so that my x will be equal to minus one here we have one plus log three to base five okay so this base here this log five here the five here becomes the base to the numerator i can still proceed so that x will be equal to now because we have log three to base five i can express I can express 1 as log 5 to base 5 because log 5 to base 5 is the same thing as 1 then we have plus log 3 to base 5 now we have x equals minus 1 open bracket now we will be one of the laws of um, logarithm since they have the same base we multiply the power so we have log of 5 times 3 that is 15 and it is to base what base 5 now if we continue from here then we say that our x is equal to minus 1 times this will give us negative log 15 to base 5 so this becomes the other value of x now let's write it here one of the values of x is x equals um one then the other is x equals negative log 15 to base 3 so right here we have um, another value of x okay it's actually to base 5 thank you for watching